Hi, it's Linda, and I've got a couple things I'm going to try to do today. One of them is getting close to Valentine's Day, so I love to make a st uh, stuffed strawberries that I make with uh, the cream cheese pudding and Greek yogurt. But uh, I like to put some chocolate syrup or something on top, but they always seem to run off. So I've created a chocolate fudge topping that's sugar-free. I'm going to do this video separately because you can use this for like putting on ice cream or any other kind of a dessert that you might want to put some like a chocolate uh, thick drizzle on. Not, you know, the thin like the chocolate syrup, but kind of thicker. So this is um, sugar-free and one tablespoon is zero points. So, you know, if you use more than one tablespoon, it's going to be more. So you need to calculate it in your uh, WW app, and that is on blue points. So we're going to get started, it, and it makes 16 tablespoons, which is one cup. So what I'm going to be using is a cup of almond milk, and I'm going to use two teaspoons of vanilla, eighth of a teaspoon of, of salt, and then a half a cup of the Swerve sugar replacement confection powdered sugar that's sugar free that is so good and then three quarters of a cup of uh, cocoa unsweetened cocoa then I'm going to add a teaspoon of coconut oil and it's kind of the thick kind but it you know melts down uh, to help with the uh, thickening, thickening uh, with the recipe so I'm going to get started I'm going to use my little hot plate so you can kind of see because you have to really stir it you know so it doesn't stick so here we go okay the first thing I'm going to do I've got my saucepan I've got this on uh, pretty high I may have to turn it down but you want to spray your pan first because you want to make sure and I'd spray it all over because I made it earlier and it kind of got all over spray it with I use butter pan so spray that first then add one cup of almond milk goes the almond milk. I'm going to set this stuff aside. And then I'm going to add, let me put this stuff aside so you can see a little bit more. Because you're not going to add the salt or vanilla or coconut oil until after everything is cooked together. So let's get all of the ingredients that we need to cook together first. Okay. So I've got the almond milk in here, it's heating up, I'm going to add three quarters of a cup of the unsweetened Hershey's cocoa. Okay, it started boiling, so I'm going to, so I turned down my uh, temperature a little bit here on my hot plate. I add the milk first, let it get hot, so the hot cocoa will dissolve easier. So you start pouring the hot cocoa in, and mix it around with the spoon. And then I'm going to take a whisk to it. Then I'm going to add the powdered sugar. And I'll be right back. Okay, I've been cooking this for like, oh, a minute or two, just stirring it down with a whisk real good. Because you need to get every bit of that chocolate dissolved. Also, this second time of making this, I learned from the last one that it's best to heat up the um, almond milk first and get it to it where it comes to a very soft boil, then add the cocoa. And that way it's blending a lot better. So now it's all nice and smooth, which is so much better than it was on the last time I made this. Now I'm going to add a half a cup of the Swerve confection sugar. And this is sugar free. And I'm going to whisk it and I'll be right back. Okay, it's coming to a soft boil now. It's been like three minutes, stirring it around. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of coconut oil to it now and mix it in. And after it dissolves, I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla, because I'll turn, take it off the burner then, and add the vanilla and the salt after this dissolves. It's rapid boil right now. Very good. So now the oil is all dissolved. I'm going to take it off. It's boiling good. Okay, now I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. Quit boiling. It's nice and smooth. 
add two teaspoons of vanilla. You don't add this while it's cooking. You want to do this as your last step. And then I'm going to add one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Oops. There we go. I'm going to mix this together now. I'm going to pour it into a little container. Mix around a cup, maybe a little over, I think, from what I could tell in the last recipe. It was almost a cup, and then I increased the milk because it was too thick when it set. It was just super thick. So if you want it thicker, you know, instead of doing a, a cup of milk, you could do a half a cup or three quarters of a cup, but it'll be super thick, let me tell you. So here it comes. Nice and smooth. This is going to be so awesome on these strawberries. I found these really huge strawberries at the store yesterday. And the tops look like they're not quite all the way done, but I'm going to cut those off anyway because I'm going to fill them, the strawberries, with a cheesecake pudding. And then I'm going to drizzle on some of this chocolate syrup. That will be in my next video. I wanted to show this one separate so you can see what it looks like. And like I said, you can drizzle this on, you know, if you're making a low uh, point uh, cake and you want a little chocolate drizzle, or if you want to put it on uh, ice cream, there's all kinds of things. Anything you would use a chocolate syrup for, I'm mainly doing it for the strawberries right now because it is uh, uh, almost Valentine's Day and I want them anyway. Doesn't have to wait to Valentine's Day. And so I'm getting every little bit out of here because it's really good. And so there we go. I'll let you, if you watch my next video with the strawberries, you'll see uh, when I drizzle some of this on top of the strawberries. Enjoy, and I hope you enjoy my videos and you're sharing them with other people so I can help others on their journey uh, on WW as a lifestyle, not a diet. I eat like this all the time and I've lost 80 pounds. It's wonderful. God bless you. Have a good day.